This is Pet Life Radio. Let's talk pets. Hello, and welcome to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. Thank you for joining us today. We're your hosts. My name is Marcy Davis, and my co-host is my trusty service dog, Whistle. And Whistle and I are thrilled to be with you today to talk about our favorite subject, working dogs and working animals. And today, our guest is my and Whistle's special friend, Krista Brooks. And Krista is an artist, and she's also the top dog of Retro Pets, where she sells her unique works of ARF. That's right, ARF and art. And Krista is going to visit with us today about her incredible artwork and her unique connection to International Assistance Dog Week. So come right back after these quick messages as we welcome Krista Brooks to the show. Sit. Stay. We'll be right back after a short pause. Well, four to be exact. Dog Shelter Blues, the new novel by Mark Conkling. This hard-hitting story lights up the world of animal rescue with engaging characters and their pets, struggling with their own internal demons as they attempt to rescue innocent creatures that sometimes bring a mysterious transforming power to broken lives. Read the first chapter of Dog Shelter Blues free at dogshelterblues.com. Then come along a breathtaking journey that ends with an astonishing triumph of good over evil. Order your copy of Dog Shelter Blues today. Available at Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Welcome back to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. Hello, Krista, and welcome to the show. Hi, Marcy. Thank you so much. So excited to be here with you. Yeah, well, we're so thrilled that you could be with us. And we have so much to talk about, about all the incredible work that you're doing. And I know our listeners are, are going to be so excited to learn about your artwork. But I have to ask you, how did you begin doing dog art, Krista? Well, kind of by accident. I had just moved to Santa Fe and I was waiting tables. Even though I was an artist and I had a degree in graphic design, I just I hadn't quite broken into that doing my own art thing. And I got fired from my waiting tables job and I thought, you know, the universe is trying to tell me something. I'm not supposed to be waiting tables. I'm I'm an artist. I'm supposed to be doing art. And so it was through my roommate's friend was over for dinner. And he knew that I was looking for work in the art field. And he said, do you want to do a painting of my pet? Fergus was his little Jack Russell's name. He said, do you want to do a painting of Fergus? And I'll, you know, I'll commission you. I said, love to. And then he said, you can do whatever you want. And I said, perfect, because I love vintage graphics. So I'm going to do it as a beer label. So it was Flying Fergus Pale Ale, Good Dog, Good Beer, with his little Fergus dog jumping through the center of the uh, painting there. Looked like a vintage beer label. That is so awesome. And I remember seeing that work of art, and it was amazing. It was amazing. And I I know you. it was so cool how you tied your passion for vintage into dogs. It was adorable. Oh, so much fun. And dogs and pets in general, they're just so much fun to to create around because of their personalities. It's a blast. Well, I have to tell our listeners about how you and I met um, mm-hmm. because because after you did that first piece, then you started going to the Tezuke flea market in Santa yep. Fe, New Mexico, right? That's right. And what happened was I had done the, the painting for Jason and then I knew somehow that it was could be a business. And since I didn't want to wait tables anymore and it was so much fun to do the painting, Jason lent me back the Fergus painting every weekend. He would leave his door open when he went to work on Saturday morning. I would drive my pickup truck up. I'd open the door, get the pet Fergus, get the painting off the wall, and take it to the flea market. And I set up a booth. And I remember, Marcy, when you came by, it, your face. 
<laughs> you were just like transfixed, and it said, "Commission your pet," and you're and you were my first commission ever. I fell in love with it. I thought it was so adorable and so clever. And I, at the time, was trying to think of something to honor Ramona, who's my first mm-hmm. assistance dog, mm-hmm. as you know. And yeah. so it was just the perfect thing to do. And I have to say. It is one of our most treasured things in our house. And I, I've always Aww. told my husband, Franz, that if the house is going to catch on fire and we can grab one thing, grab Ramona's painting that you did. Because it, it means so I can much. picture it. I can picture it in my mind right now. We did a perfume label. Yes. Well, Ramona and was such a girly dog that, yeah, we did Ramona's rose water is what you did. right. Mm-hmm. And you God, did that was it. so long ago. That was 1998, Marcy. It was. I know. I was hanging <laughs> right here with me right now, and it was, it was so cool how you tailored that to Ramona, and everything in that painting had something to do with Ramona's life, which just mm-hmm. made it so special and so incredible. Well, Thank and you. you. You've taken that and you've built on that so much where now you've done, I think, what is it, over 180 prints now? Krista, tell us about, about your work now and how it's evolved. Thank you. Well, it started out doing commissions, and now I've come full circle. Now I've come full circle. I'm doing commissions again after a, kind of a hiatus. But what I do is I create my works of art and I play upon the personality of the breed, dog or cat, and I'll think about the breed characteristics and I'll, like there's Jack Russell Roast Hyperhound Coffee Company and then it says not available in decaf. And so I just have such a blast playing around with the breed personality and coming up with, you know, what kind of label is it going to be? Is it going to be a coffee dog? Is it going to be a beer hound? Is it going to be a hoochie poochie or a, or a patron pooches? Is, it was very popular in the Southwest. Yes, the saints. Yes, yes. Yeah, that the doggy really awesome. saints. Yes. Yes, I yeah. have one of those hanging in my office. Also, the the patron saint of tennis balls is the for that I oh, have. Oh yes. yes, oh yes, yes, the gold Yes, and yes. then there's also ones like um, the Chihuahua is patron saint of the Napoleonic complex. That sort of thing. So I try to have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have a very unique sense of humor that really comes out in all of your work, which makes it so unique and fun. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> well, that. And I know that you have a photo contest that you usually do. Are you still doing that? And yes, tell us I about do the that. Photo, the photo contest and I, what we do is you can go to my website, which is retropets.com and click on photo contest and you can answer my 15 fun questions. And those are fun questions like, What's your pet's motto or philosophy on life? If your pet wrote a personals ad, what would that sound like? What high school personality best fits your pet? You know, like there's jock or brainiac or or my favorite, most likely to end up in prison. Um, And then people answer those and then they can upload photos of their pet. And then when I'm going to do, I say, you know, everybody, because basically what I do for the most part is I wholesale to little gift stores and galleries and pet boutiques around the country and in other countries as well that carry my 8x10 art prints or my, now we do little greeting cards, note cards. We do magnets now. The magnets are, are fabulous. And so when everybody's saying, oh, why don't you have to do a Great Dane or you have to do a Pomeranian, then I'll look at my photo contest. I'll look at the entries and I'll see, oh, look at that adorable picture of a Pomeranian. I think I'm going to turn that into a retro pet. So that's one way to get your pet to be the star of one of my prints for free is you can just enter my photo contest and then it's kind of like you never know that might happen. Wow, I know. Well, and I am so glad that you mentioned the magnets and the prints and and all the different things that you have because I have to say that your products have been wonderful things for me to purchase as gifts for my assistance dog's puppy raisers because oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been great and I think it's so wonderful because there's so many different price points so people mm-hmm. can really afford that as a gift and I know that I've done that for all three of mine. They've gotten some of your works of ARF because it, it's just so perfect for the breed and for the personalities that came out of the different dogs that I've had. So I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. And now you actually have a gallery in Santa Fe as well, right? 
very, very tiny little gallery. We do, and that's at 621 Old Santa Fe Trail. And we're number 10, and that's easy to spot. There's a huge sign with a big golden retriever on it. It says Retro Pets Gallery. And um, we're suite number 10. And um, you can come in and see our our greeting cards and our magnets and our art prints. And then we have some larger uh, pieces on canvas. So please do come and visit. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit more about your commissions, Krista. How is that working now? Well, it's pretty exciting, actually. It's kind of my new favorite thing. I had taken a break from it, but now I'm doing commissions, and you get... Now, there's a couple things to remember. One is that you can only put one dog on a commission. I don't do two or three dogs on one commission. So if you want to know what my commissions are like, just look at any of my retro pets, because basically that's what it's like, except for it can be your dog's name, uh, like Marcy was talking about before, you know, Ramona's Rosewater. So instead of being generic, that could be for any, you know, lab, it would be your dog's name and specific things. And we'll, you know, we work, to, I work together with people. We just did one, I have to tell you. There was a bulldog. This, these people got three commissions. And they had their bulldog that had just passed away named Thurston. Well, the full name was Thurston Howell III. But of it was course spelled, it was. <laughs> of course. But it was spelled H-O-W-L, Thurston Howell. Oh. So one of the commissions that we did, and I'll have to get this up on the website, they wanted a Gilligan's Island theme. So I researched pictures of Thurston and found that hat, and I did like the Gilligan's Island. You remember that that wheel that everybody's picture was yes, in? So we, yes. I found that for a reference and painted that and put palm trees in the back. So it so it says um, Thurston's Island, you know, oh, and it oh. says I can't remember what the words at the bottom, only the best or something like that. But it looks so fantastic and so that's the type of thing that you can do when you commission one now the other thing about it is you have to jump through some hoops I have to approve the photograph we have to talk about it but the commissions start at $495 and the cool thing is you get two 8 by 10 prints you get an 11 by 14 print and then my favorite thing you get a hundred note cards of your commission, they come out just like my greeting cards with a, a colored envelope, a color coordinated envelope inside a cellophane sleeve. And your dog's bio that you write is on the back of the note card and a photo of your dog. It's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I know you did note cards for me with Ramona's Rosewater, and I love them. I frame them. I mean, I just, they're wonderful. You can do so many different things with those note cards. Mm-hmm, definitely. Oh. Or give them to people, you yes. know, or just... Yeah, well, that's awesome. That's so smart. And you get so many different things. And then it's tailored to your dog, which is just so special. Oh. Yes. And then and, and even I redid the Retro Pets logo recently. And the Retro, the O, always has like a different dog head coming out of it. And when, when you get a commission on the back of the note cards, it's your dog's head coming out of the O. So fun <laughs> little details like that. Wow. Well, we are going to take just a quick break and hear some important messages from our sponsors and we're going to come back and continue visiting with Krista and we're going to talk about Krista's unique connection to International Assistance Dog Week. So come right back. We'll be right back right after these messages. Stay tuned. It's designerpetsweaters.com. Hand-knitted designer sweaters for your precious pup or cool cat. Beautiful couture patterns for your pets, including custom-knitted formal wear, casual wear, yachting, and even sports-themed. Many designer pet sweaters include feathered tammy hats, top hats, and a lot of sparkle. Each sweater includes leg loops, front paw sleeves, and leash opening. Visit designerpetsweaters.com to order your four-legged fashions today. Your pets will stay warm for the winter and be runway ready. Large or small, we fit them all. Designerpetsweaters.com Let's Talk Pets. Let's Talk Pets. On Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Pet Life Radio. Dot com. <laughs> Welcome back to Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. 
And we're visiting today with artist Krista Brooks. And we're talking about all the amazing things that she's been working on over the past decade and all the things that she's created and her wonderful website, retropets.com. And I've been promising and almost teasing about Krista's connection with International Assistance Dog Week. And I'm just so thrilled about her connection because last year, Krista actually created a piece of art specifically for International Assistance Dog Week. And Whistle got to be the model for that, (laughs) which was very exciting. So handsome. So we were just so excited that you so graciously did that because Krista actually donated 100% of the profits from the sales of items on Cafe Press, which there's all kinds of things like T-shirts, mugs, magnets, all different kinds of things that you can purchase in support of International Assistance Dog Week. And that's just at CafePress.com. And then Krista also made 8x10 and 11x14 art prints of that image which she's donating 50% of the retail price to International Assistance Dog Week, which is just so awesome. And we really thank you and, and appreciate that, Krista. It's such my pleasure. So great. And I know we talked about you expanding that because we've had people that love the image of Whistle, but of course, then they're like, we want our Golden Retriever on that image. Yes, so. <laughs> yes. So I think Well, that yeah, we'll of- have to do that. You know, when you hear somebody say that, tell them to go enter my photo contest. <laughs> I will, I will. Yeah, because I know people always, there's so many different breeds now that are becoming assistance dogs, so I'm sure you could do a whole series. Yeah, yeah, well, I actually... Um, if you go to my website, retropets.com, and you see on the left side, it'll say search by series. If you click on that, the drop down, the very first series is called Assistance Dogs. And there's only one there right now, but we did create a series for it. So I do want it to, to continue with that. Yeah, it's so great. And I'd love to hear from our listeners on different ideas that they have because I know you and I talked about it and we're trying to think of all the different ways that assistance dog help people with disabilities Mm -hmm. and and other Mm -hmm. types of needs. So I'd love to hear some thoughts about what people think of creative works of art that you could could design because I can only imagine. (laughs) Yeah, that is a good point because we, because of the way that I work, what I do is it's usually some sort of label or signage, that sort of thing. Like I was saying before, the beer hounds, the coffee dogs, hodgepodge hounds, if it doesn't fit into any of the other categories. But one one category I have is called postage pup. And we ended up doing a stamp for the... Um, for the assistance dog. So, and that looks beautiful. But when Marcy and I were like, oh God, we had so much fun. Remember Marcy and the lunches we would have? Yes, <laughs> yes, we had. <laughs> she is such lunches. a hoot. Yes. <laughs> and we were brainstorming. That was so much fun. We'll have to do that again. But, um, but yeah, so we, we would love to hear from people. I would love to hear from people. And you can, if you go and you're filling out the 15 fun questions, um, in my, for my photo contest, there are places where, and there's a bonus question, there are places where you can say, what do you think this print should be? And like, do you have any ideas for this? And that's where you could put it in. And because we were trying to figure out what kind of a label it would be if it was an assistance dog to sort of make sense. We'd love, yeah. to, I'd love to get ideas. Yeah, I would love to see that too. And because I know our listeners are so creative. So it would yeah. be really interesting. And what I think of art and with people with disabilities, I immediately think of those lovely blue signs with the side image of somebody in a wheelchair. So there's got to be way more fun things <laughs> and I know that, that you could create or, or, <laughs> <laughs> or do something with that because I love the vintage, the idea of vintage and how that could, mm. could fit into that and be created would be really cool. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 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 Well, and so tell us, Krista, so what are your, I know you're doing the commissions. Are there anything else on the horizon, new and exciting that you have going on for Retro Pets? Well, I will tell you what I think your listener should do is to go to my website and sign up for my Retro Pets Gazette, my newsletter. Now, the reason, one of the things that I'm doing, and they're going to be on these flash sales. I don't know if you've heard of fab.com. There are these websites that will do these sales, and I am now working with a company, and I'm licensing my artwork. In fact, I was just working on it today that my artwork is going to be put on pillows and tote bags and canvases. 
Now, these will not be sold. Well, actually, we will will do some sales on Retro Pets, but they're going to be on sale. If they will sign up to my newsletter, I will let my folks know, my uh, newsletter people know when the flash sales are going to be so that they can look out and get a really good deal on some of uh, some of the retro pets art. Oh, that sounds great. Well, that's exciting. I've got to make sure that I'm on that list. Yes, and, Martha, and I, you're... <laughs> and I, I, think it was, I need a commission of whistle also because I've been thinking of that. I've, I've commemorated Morgan and Ramona, and now yes. I need to do something for whistle because yeah. these assistance dogs, as you know, give their whole life to us. Mm-hmm. And so it's so wonderful to have something so special to remember them because, unfortunately, their life is far too short. And I know when I have been grieving and losing my dogs, looking at at the art that you've created certainly helped me get through that loss. So I I hope that other people will have that opportunity also because it it is something very, very special and unique. Mm Thank yeah, you. well, thank you so much for being with us, Krista. It's been a delight to have you, and we hope you'll come back and keep us posted on your, your future adventures. Oh, thank you so much, Marcy. It was wonderful, and thank you for having me. I'd love to come back anytime. That would be awesome. And thank you, our listeners, for being with us. We always love to hear from you, so keep those emails coming. And you know how to reach us. It's Marcy, M-A-R-C-I-E, at PetLifeRadio.com. And we will also have information about Krista on our website and her website, RetroPets.com. So please check that out. And remember, you can always follow Whistle and myself at Working Like Dogs on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter, and please read our blog at workinglikedogs.com. So thanks so much and take good care. Let's Talk Pets, every week on demand, only on PetLifeRadio.com.